it's been what seven months, eight months, eight months, I think. Jack Perry. Now you've seen the video, and also keep in mind that you know for the second glass spot, at all in Wembley, you know a car was provided for him. I suggest that you know the move to use the windscreen in the front of the car was greenlit by somebody. And then, you know, he goes and says that it's real glass, Crimea River. At least the rest of it, I imagine, was green lit or, you know, that kind of thing. But he's been either suspended, he's been suspended for, what, six months? And then... Uh, maybe longer than that. And then he's in New Japan for two months in the worst group New Japan's had in, in decades. Is Jack Perry being overpunished for all this, or does he deserve the cold shoulder that Tony's giving him? Well, I think he was insubordinate my opinion because if it started about the glass then it ends with the glass nobody told him to say as glass cry me a river nobody told him to send that nobody told him to say that and he took that on his own and he was given free airtime to say it yet said something like that i don't blame cm punk for getting mad here's a guy that he couldn't draw you a, a, a goddamn stick figure, really. And he's out there taking it upon himself and being a smart ass. And if CM Punk was supposed to be running it, wait a minute, they need some discipline somewhere. Because if you don't give them discipline, they will do exactly what they want to do when they want to do it. It's called the inmates running the asylum. And I've never seen a territory go long when you don't have any uh, power structure or anybody leading the company. Still, though, six to eight months, is that enough? And he should be brought back? I mean, it seems like they're bringing him back. I don't know why. Well, they can bring him back if they want to. I don't know why. But you'd, you'd be happy to just dust your hands off and just go. Yeah, I would. Yeah. They want to bring him back, bring him back. It doesn't concern me. I don't think the fans would – oh, they may like him because he's got a lot of publicity since he's been gone out of the ring, which – what's a kid weigh, 160 pounds, something, 170? Something like that. I mean, that's, well, the a, that's the point, though. So you've shown a video. So you've shown uh, CM Punk beating up Jack Perry easily, right? I mean, like completely yeah. dominating that brief skirmish. Uh, so you've made CM Punk look strong. You've made uh, Jack Perry look weak. You can't have the two feud because they're in different companies. So now Jack Perry just turns up. If he does come back to AEW, all he, what's he, he's just he's a little bitch who CM Punk has punked out on camera that AEW <laughs> themselves showed. It's like yeah, it's what, just doing what, Perry the no no good at all here. No, what are they going to bring him back on at what platform and for what and for what level? Who is going? Who's he mad at? CM Punk is gone. That's the main deal. So. Is he mad at the, at the Bucks or what? I don't think that'll go anyway. I don't see nothing that's going to work for AEW right now. I think they they have hit the epitome of effing up. And I think it's now telling the, it's telling the story on them. Oh, yeah, they're always going to have their faithful. You're always going to have those people that are watch wrestling, any kind of wrestling at all. But they're not getting excited about it. WWE had the same thing, I, except when they started telling a story, they got a few more people watching, then a few more, then a lot more, and then it kind of built onto itself. They're up a half million viewers since, what, six months ago? Mm. Uh, it's, eight it's, it's eight months? To, it's tough to say because of NFL and basketball and stuff like that. You know, it fluctuates up and down, but... For at least the next few weeks, it'd be good to see them do, you know, two million plus on Raw. Mm. And yep. SmackDown has been on, on a high as well, which is a shame for Fox, because it's one of the few shows that's booking the trend of sliding ratings. And now, you know, they're going to Fox. Uh, sorry, uh, Netflix. 